Attention focused on Bruno Fernandes. Well, he's the most creative player on the field. He can run with the ball, he can get himself out of tight situations, he can see a pass, he's very creative with his play. I think he's going to be the outstanding player today. The game is live in its entirety, only on EA TV next. Hello, it's great to be with you, and I don't think anybody is going to complain, especially about the weather. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. And with the game just moments away now, this really ought to be a superb watch. It's Portugal, and they take on Scotland. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Can they create something from here? McLean. Now with Ryan Christie. Must be! Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Fernando Silva plays alongside Bruno Fernandes in central midfield. And leading the line today is Diogo Jota. Here's how Scotland will line up. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. Well, Rafael Leao, the sort of player who on the one hand entertains but also delivers. What might he contribute today? Well, he's a good all-round player. When he's closing the ball down, he does it at pace. When he's linking up the play, he's good at that. But his real attribute and his threat is when he runs in behind defenders. That's when he's at his most dangerous. Might be dangerous. And a goal! An early boost for them. The first goal of the game. They're off and running. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. And so the ball is moving again. Will there be a quick response from Portugal here? There needs to be. Neto. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Silva. They've regained possession. John McGinn. Andrew Robertson. And now with McGinn. Really determined play to hang on to it. McLean. On to McGinn. Good use of the ball as they look to extend their lead. Well, it's one pass after another. The defenders know you can't really allow space like that. Is this the moment? Oh, it's a penalty. Just what they wanted to avoid, given the scoreline. Well, there might have been a case for a yellow card, but the referee didn't see it that way. Well, Derek, it's a foul, yes. A penalty, absolutely. But for me, it's not a yellow card. The ref has got that right. A chance to extend the lead. And there it is! Perfectly executed! Well, let's take another look. He chooses the right way to dive, but it's a good penalty because it's the height that beats him as it goes above him. Two nil now and back on the way. Palinha.
Kenny McLean now. Lyndon Dykes. Billy Gilmore. McKenna. Well, the crowd are certainly not happy. Their team has been totally outplayed here. They're just being passed around far too easily. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. again now with McTominay oh, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done real chance might still be able to do a bit of damage and a goal well it looks easy when you can put them away like that Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see, but unfortunately, it drops straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky, really. Well, this is threatening to get out of hand. Just look at the scoreline. Got McTominay. McKenna. Here's Robertson. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. And he's keen on cutting in. Opportunity here. Magnificent defending. Oh, magnificent reaction. Now sending it in. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. He takes aim. Able to get his body in the way. Jota. And Palinha with it. Could be. A goal! Precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Well, here we can see it again, and he does so well to skip beyond the defender. It just buys him that bit of time to get his shot away. That's a really nice goal. a tale of four goals in this match now 3-1 it is Nelson Semedo Minch Leal angles it back a glorious chance well going for power from there but not worrying the goalkeeper in the slightest. So two minutes of stoppage time here. McLean. Being pressed here. Well, lovely work to get past his man. The defender doing his job. And the referee has pointed to the spot. Penalty given. So 
substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. This to get themselves back into it. And that is when you need your goalkeeper. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half-time here. Well, quite simply, he hasn't been able to make his mark and attack in this game, Stuart. Yeah, he's just not found his form today. He doesn't look quite right. Unless he can impose himself on this game and start threatening the keeper, they're going to lose this one. And back underway, there can be no denying it. There was a big gulf between the sides in the first half. Will we see a response from Portugal in the second? Bruno Fernandes. Oh, danger here. In position. Oh, another one for them. And with plenty of time still remaining, this game is very much... Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space. And it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. So back underway. And let's see. Can Portugal find another one? McGinn. could really get at the opposition but Tomney he must finish oh keeper dealt with it Rafael Leao went in strongly decisively Minch on the ball Rafael Leao and out of play for what will be a Scotland throw Ralston and that's an important intervention Bruno Fernandes has it on the ball Rafael Leao Free kick awarded then by the referee. He's got to be cross with himself straight into that human barrier. <laughs> Billy Gilmore. <laughs> it's with McTominay. Nice looking pass. <laughs> Options in the middle. <laughs> Might be dangerous. John McGinn. Ralston. Excellent refereeing, advantage in operation. It could be up for grabs. And a time for calm on the ball. Silva. And this is Diogo Jota now. And Scotland with the ball again. Jack Hendry. Kenny McLean now. Nice weight on the pass. 
And I'll tell you what, that didn't miss by much. And they're making a change. To the final 20 minutes. Gilmore. Billy Gilmore. Aaron Hickey. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. And winning it back. And offside, I rather think he was caught in two minds. Well, he just needed to go elsewhere with his pass. He showed a complete lack of awareness there. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Felix oh, the pass not finding its target gives it a go took a nick on the way through so a corner here well can they draw level here the crowd certainly thinks so now sending is in well, that head of attempt was comfortably off target. Yeah, it is off target, but credit to the defender. He just about did enough there. Well, he's won the ball. Just lost his focus. Throw in here. Well, I think the fans are doing everything they can to get their team back into this. But can they find that moment of inspiration and get an equaliser? And quick thinking defensively. Jack Hendry. Grant Hanley with it. Hickey. And Portugal have it back now. Well, on the attack, hunting for a late equaliser here. João Felix. This could be the equaliser. Well, it's astonishing. A very unlikely comeback. But now they are level, having trailed by three. Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. got to give credit to the entire team because this was a bit like climbing Mount Everest five minutes to go Lyndon Dykes Scotland losing possession decent looking pass Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, I have to say, these fans are doing everything to drive their team forward here. 
Well, we are going to have a decent amount of stoppage time. Three minutes to be exact. McKenna. Gold. Well, he tried in vain to get himself back onside. Well, he needs to show greater awareness there and hold on to the ball a fraction longer. Guerrero, can they push ahead on the closing stages? And that is that. The 90 minutes have come and gone. Neither side holds the advantage. So back in business here, the first period of extra time, and it might well come down to mental fortitude. Who wants this more? Sloppy in possession from Scotland. And that'll be a Portugal throw. Silva. Well, possibilities in the centre. Incredible clearance. I must say, I didn't see that coming. Clear foul play, and as a result, a free kick forthcoming. Hit it with authority! Well, not quite the tantalizing free kick he was hoping for. Goalkeeper's ball. Neto. Here's Ronaldo. Now with Ryan Christie. Hanley. Well, a good tackle. Joao Felix. Grant Hanley with it. Aaron Hickey. And now with McGinn. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. And in the end, he's run out of space. And the first period of extra time comes to an end still level here well the drama continues to unfold second period of extra time now
an example of how to press Hickey that's a lovely ball and Portugal regaining possession Bruno Fernandes has it and it's Hendry with it Hanley and given away promising pass Conway they're on the scent of a winner late in this game Ruben Dias it's with Guerrero and the referee spotted the foul but has played advantage Bernardo Silva Ruben Dias. Now with Silva. A nicely cut out. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. Well, the fact of the matter is sometimes there is no advantage, and that was the view of the referee. Well, play was allowed to carry on, but now that it's come to a halt, a caution. <laughs> So a personnel change then. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. Locked together then, these two sides. And on we go now to penalty kicks. And so the penalty shootout about to commence. And as a player, this is when you have to hold your nerve. I must say, that takes real confidence. Brilliant. And he's beaten the keeper. Can he keep us cool? And high into the top corner. Outrageous. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. Can he convert? And the penalty converted here. Job done from the spot. And he steps up to take the shot. And confidently converted. Clinical as always in front of goal. His turn to try to convert from the spot. In it goes. You want a pressure cooker? This is it. He must score. Goalkeeper beaten from the spot. And up he comes, doing his best to remain focused. And it's gone in. And there it is, perfectly executed. He had to score, and he does. Can he remain calm?
and he scores and he steps up to take his penalty so lethal in front of goal and he's beaten the keeper can he get the better of the keeper And that is when you need your goalkeeper. Well, it comes down to this. In, and they win. And the keeper denies them from the spot. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. Well, it's all about keeping a cool head. And the penalty converts it here. Job done from the spot. And confidently converted. Mental preparation is such a big part of this. And that was an exquisitely taken penalty. Clinical, as always, in front of goal. Composure is so important under these trying circumstances. In it goes. Goalkeeper beaten from the spot. And it's gone in. Well, dead centre with that penalty. Can he keep us cool? And there it is, perfectly executed. He had to score, and he does. Can he convert? Oh, a superb save. Well, a successful kick here, and that will be that. Engulfed by all the pressure, he nevertheless puts it away to win this penalty shootout. Well, it's a good penalty. He showed a lot of composure there. And overall, they probably just about deserve to win this game.